Hello everyone, um, I'm Khan Musha and uh, yesterday I decided to watch um, the Fullmetal Alchemist movie and uh, decided I might as well give my review for it. It's not the original Fullmetal Alchemist movie but the uh, the Fullmetal Alchemist star Milos or whatever it's called. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get on with this review. Let's start with the art. Uh, I don't know what to say about the art for this. At times, the art was good, and then sometimes the art was horrible. I don't know how that managed to be passed through the, you know, the Bones inspection, because that's like probably the worst art I've ever seen from Bones ever. Oh man, um, I don't. The art is the the biggest thing I've seen that was like terrible. All right, well. Um, I hate the art. The sound was great. Um, the best thing about the movie was probably the sound. Um, you know, L. Arc Sale, I'm not sure if I said their name right. They did the ending, which is what I expect because, you know, they do everything for Full Malchemist, so might as well have them do the ending because, you know, that's a good thing. I like it when they do from Alchemist stuff that's usually really good. Um, the background music was good. The voice acting was, for the most part, good. Um, there's like only like a couple people that wasn't very good. But most of the time, everyone was good. And um, yeah, uh, I liked the voice acting and the the, the sound design period. All right, plot. Okay, uh, the plot for this is actually kind of weird. Um, it starts off with Ed and Al chasing down um, a escaped prisoner who was an alchemist apparently, who is after this um, girl. Uh, God, I can't remember her name. Uh, Crichton or something like that. I can't remember what her actual name was. I don't remember it's Crichton. And well, they was going after her. Uh, the guy was going after her. And I was going to go intercept him to get the guy. And, you know, it leads into, like, this really weird, complicated story that... Uh, I don't even know where to start. But, yeah. Um, it all takes place at this random outskirts city. It's on the border of another um, country. And uh, most of the story takes place in the... It's a little, ca um, not cavern, but, um, uh, I, I don't know what you'd call it. Just a little crevice area, because there's a, bu there's a bunch of, uh, little settlements down there where, like, poor people live. Most of it takes place down there. Um, but yeah, uh, the story, hmm, I'm not sure if, um, what, like, I didn't go back to check, but I swear there's, plot holes all through the story. Um, parts of the story was okay. Um, I'm not exactly thrilled about the reveal of the main bad guy of the movie. It's like, surprise, I'm bad. Surprise, surprise, I'm actually, like, surprise, surprise, the bad guy is actually the good guy, or, like, I don't, uh, and then the bad guy was actually really bad, and the good guy was actually bad. I don't know. The story was weird. Um, um, it was a weird bad. It was weird tolerable. Like it was not good. It was not bad. It, overall, the story was just disappointing for a Full Metal Alchemist movie. Um. A story that I actually liked was the original Full Malcolm's movie. That movie was actually really good. The story was actually pretty well done, I thought. I liked it. The story for this one? Oh, man. I don't know what is up with this one. The story was just convoluted, I think. Um, but yeah, um, they did do a decent job at making you like certain characters. Which is a good thing, I mean, because the freaking art in the story are not really very good. <laughs> so, at least you 
got to like certain characters and you know you kind of felt bad for their plight um you kind of start feeling sorry for them but with the art and the um story being so stupid and bad at times uh, like it makes it really hard to like the movie but in the end the movie does not um suck too bad um only towards the end does it actually start getting a little bit better, I think. I mean, there's parts during the, uh, throughout the movie that's pretty good. But then there's parts, like, just huge sections that's just so stupid. And sometimes they make, um, some of the characters make some of the, the dumbest decisions. I don't understand some of the, like, the decisions some of the characters made in this movie. But yeah, um... Overall, I'm gonna have to give this movie like a three out of five. Um, why am I giving it a three out of five? Because the sound was good. Um, some of the characters were pretty good. The art was half and half. Half the time it was god awful, and half the time it was normal for art. Uh, let's see. The story was okay. Could have been a lot better. Like, I don't know who at Bones decided that was gonna like make that story, but they was like, you know what we need? Plot twists. Okay. You know what we need? More than one plot twist. All in like the thirty minute time s span, I guess. And um, that was tolerable actually. I didn't actually care too much about that, but it's just little things here and there like the part of the backstory was just kinda I don't know like it's like they forgot part of the beginning of the movie I don't know I might have just been like m missing something but I swear at the beginning um uh that sh the girl did not know the, the brother Nyakami but then another flashback he made her um Something using my alchemy. Well, I'm like, um, I could have swore that he did not know alchemy right before the big event, but you know, clearly I was wrong. But I don't know. That right there was like, hmm, okay, that's weird. But yeah, three out of five. Probably the lowest I can go on something from alchemist. It's very disappointing. Uh, watch it if you are a fan of the move, uh, the series. Um, it does not have any place in the timeline, so uh, you can just watch it whenever. Honestly, you can watch after like episode two of Full Alchemist. Either Full Alchemist, Full Alchemist regular, or Full Alchemist Brotherhood, because it really has no place in anything. Um. Let's see. Uh, I guess it wasn't too bad. I I expected so much more though. Yeah. All right. Well, if you like this review, um, please like the video, uh, subscribe, and if you did not agree with me, please let me know in the comments. And also, let me in the comments if um, if I was right with the where they. I sw at the beginning of the movie, I swear the the girl did not know he knew Akame, but you know, you know, I, s I think that's a plot hole. I want to know if it's not or not, to so if it's actually a plot hole or not. So let me know in the comments below if, if I'm actually mistaken on that. Because if it, if I am mistaken, then well, um, it ain't gonna really make a difference because this plot was still bad in my opinion. Um. But but it will actually kind of feel like, oh, okay. And just something that I was thinking about a lot. It's like, that's weird. It only happens, like, you know, it only made me start thinking about that, like, towards the end, I guess. Like, the end-ish area. That's nothing major, so it wouldn't affect the score. But, um, let me know about what your opinion was on the movie in the comments. And until then, um... 
Nothing else. Later.